Hi, I'm Megan Miller for PopSci.com, and we are here at the Wirefly X Prize Executive Summit, where we're about to talk to some of the greatest minds in science and innovation. We've got astronauts inside, we've got investors, really, really rich guys, not a bad place to meet a millionaire husband, and we've got really great thinkers. They're all coming together to talk about the future of personal space flight as the beginning of this huge festival out here in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And I'm going to get to talk to them all. Mm, it's really heavy. <laughs> I might, what if I knock it over? <laughs> We're inside the executive summit now, and we are the only cameras allowed in here. This is an exclusive scoop, and Mark Janot, the editor-in-chief of Popular Science, is on stage. What I'd like to do now is ask a couple of people to come up We've pulled together an amazing group of folks here at uh, the Wirefly X Prize Executive Summit. This is the first time we have the leaders of industry, the leaders of government, having a very candid conversation about how real are the markets? What are the technologies necessary? What can the government and should the government be doing? What should industry be looking for? How fast are the financial markets coming? It's the leadership coming together and saying, we're giving birth to this new industry. One of the reasons I'm doing this is I would love to go to space myself. I'm very consciously staying healthy, not just for space, but that's one thing I'd, I'd like to be able to do. I'm hoping to get richer, and I'm hoping the prices will come down. And when there's a match, I'm off. You know, I'll tell you, I would love to go up in space. It would be one of those things that would be a true dream from my standpoint. Now, staying in a hotel, I'm sort of picky about my hotels. I'm not sure it'd be quite up to standard right off the bat. I might want to have a few other guests go there and tell me about it before I took it out. There is a whole demographic out there that appears not to have any working knowledge of the fact that I was Vice President of the United States of America, but is intimately familiar with the fact that I delivered the line, I have ridden the mighty moonworm. I've hung out with Al Gore a fair bit. I, I, I kind of know what Al Gore's going to say, too. I mean, I've heard all his jokes, by the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs>